Besides Surah Al-Fatiha, Surah Al-Baqarah is a surah the Muslim should master if he cannot memorize the entire Quran. This is because, if not for anything, then for the fact that Surah Al-Baqarah is the source of Barakah, as per the hadith of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. In other words, if you want Barakah, then read Al-Baqarah. This episode of the Good News is supplementary to the Guide to Mastery of Surah Al-Baqarah by Memorization, an article which I have recently published on Jisalam. Dot net. Let's do this. Bismillah. Assalamu alaikum. Welcome back to a new episode of the Good News brought to you by Jisalam.net and Al Bushra by Jisalam. As I mentioned in the intro, this video supplements the practical guide for the mastery of Surah Al-Baqarah by memorization. This video explains and elaborates the practicality parts of the article. Therefore, while this video explains parts of the article, not everything is highlighted in this video. Therefore, I recommend that you read the article before watching this video or read the article after watching this video. Reading the article before watching this video will make the video more understandable. And also watching this video before reading the article will make it fun to read and exciting by the will of, by the will of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The article comes with the following outline and parts. However, in this video, we are only going to highlight the following sections of the article or the guide. So first things first, who can memorize Surah Al-Baqarah? I do classify and categorize people into four different categories in relation to Surah to Al-Baqarah. The first category is anyone who has already memorized Surah to Al-Baqarah. The second category is anyone who is exposed to reading Surah Al-Baqarah, meaning he reads Surah Al-Baqarah very frequently. However, he is yet to memorize Surah Al-Baqarah. The third category is anyone who is who has the experience or is exposed to reading some parts of the Quran, but he is really not exposed to reading Surah Al-Baqarah, meaning he is not comfortable reading Surah Al-Baqarah. And the fourth category is anyone who is not exposed to reading the Quran at all. This person may even have, uh, may even not be able to identify the letters of the Arabic alphabet. If you fall in the first category, if you have memorized Surah Al-Baqarah, then it becomes a responsibility for you to teach Surah Al-Baqarah to your family members, to your friends, colleagues, relatives, and what have you. If, however, you fall in the second category, meaning you are exposed to Surah to Al-Baqarah, you have the experience of reading Surah Al-Baqarah frequently and you are yet to memorize Surah Al-Baqarah, then I hope you will find this guide and this video very beneficial, inshallah ta'ala. And by following what we are sharing in this sharing, in no time you will memorize Surah Al-Baqarah if you exhibit the patience and persevere by the will of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. For the one who falls in the third category, he has the experience of reading the Quran, however, he is not so comfortable with Surah Al-Baqarah, then I recommend that you make yourself comfortable by reading Surah Al-Baqarah from the book very frequently. Once you become comfortable, then you can take a look at this program and give it a a go by the will of Allah subhanahu, subhanahu wa ta'ala. And for anyone who falls in the fourth category, meaning you have no experience, no exposure at all with the Quran, you cannot read the Quran, maybe you do not have, uh, you are not able to identify the Arabic alphabet, then you are not left behind. Do check out my series on TV Kirot Academy, Juz Amma Practical Tajweed series. Within this Juzama Practical Tajwi series, I do have some six episodes which are dedicated to uh, the Arabic alphabet. 
to identifying, to getting to know for anyone who does not know and want to start from scratch. This is with regards to who can memorize Surah Al-Baqarah. In a nutshell, anyone can memorize Surah Al-Baqarah by the will of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, provided they intend to do so, they put in the effort to do so. Different people will definitely finish faster than others, but no one will be left behind if he puts in the effort to achieve it by the will of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Moving on, let's create a common ground. When we talk about creating a common ground, as far as this program is concerned, it's about making time for the, for, for the, pro, for the journey. It's also about setting your objectives right. It's also about knowing some prerequisites and paying attention to them, observing them, and also making some adjustments in one lifestyle. The problem I do face as a Quran teacher uh, from time to time is when someone comes to you and asks you, uh, I have no time, but I want to memorize this surah or that surah. I have no time. He is not ready to put in the time it takes to, to, to achieve whatever it is he wants to achieve especially when it comes to a surah in the Qur'an or anything religious. Anyone who has memorized Surah Al-Baqarah will need one hour at least to be able to reproduce it by heart in one sitting. Even for the one who has not memorized Surah Al-Baqarah, he will need at least one hour to read it in a medium speed, medium speed, in order to be able to finish it one hour. So for the one who does not has not memorized Surah Al-Baqarah and want to memorize Surah Al-Baqarah, spend one hour every day on one verse or a few lines of Surah Al-Baqarah and follow the guidance we are giving in this program. By the will of Allah, in no time you will find yourself being able to either read the entire surah or, uh, or reproduce it by heart, inshallah ta'ala. So make sure you can make time of one hour at least on a daily basis. Therefore, you will be able to do it, inshallah ta'ala. And the next thing is to set your objectives right, to know why you want to memorize Surah Al-Baqarah, why you want to de develop that bonding or relationship or friendship with Surah Al-Baqarah. Please do check the guide and see, go through the uh, reasons why you should memorize Surah Al-Baqarah. I have provided 10 of them, and I hope they should be more than enough to keep you going by the will of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Following is to know some prerequisites. And there are some prerequisites I have suggested in the guide that not even a single one of them will be left out if one really wants to memorize Surah Al-Baqarah. They are doable. They may be challenging, but certainly they are doable. So if one is honest to himself and he really wants to be a companion of the Quran, first through Surah Al-Baqarah and probably subsequently uh, through other surahs in the Quran, then those 10 uh, prerequisites or so are essential. There's no shortcut to, to that. Following will be to make some adjustments in one's life. Once we have decided to, to, make, to make an hour a day for Surah Al-Baqarah, and we have set our objectives right and known why we want to memorize Surah Al-Baqarah, and we adhere and are ready to follow the prerequisites, then we have to make adjustments to our lives. One will not be able to, to attend Fajr prayers at the mosque if he changes nothing in his life before the, the moment he decides to start to pray Fajr at the mosque and yet he's not changing anything. Your, your eating habit needs to be changed. Your sleeping uh, habit needs to be changed. In fact, probably your physical exercise routine needs to be revised and many other things. So if we want to bring something new into our life, then we need to make room for that new habit to uh, to be able to, to settle in. 
and it will happen by giving up things in our lifestyle, in our routine, and so on. So one certainly has to make adjustments if he really wants to start uh, sitting one hour a day or spending one hour a day for Surah Al-Baqarah. A lot of things need to be changed and different people will have to do different adjustments depending on who they are, where they are, and what they do. Moving on. Surah Al-Baqarah, as we all know, is the longest surah in the Quran. It, is spreads, it, it spreads over 48 full pages. Uh, it comes in two and a half juzu, or two juzu and almost a half juzu, 48 pages. Surah Al-Baqarah have the longest verse as well. Uh, the shortest verse in Surah Al-Baqarah is Alif La Mim, and that is the one and only. Anything else is... Uh, it's one full line or two full lines or four lines sometimes and in fact 15 lines for the longest one. In order to memorize it, we there's no way anyone can just read Surah Al-Baqarah from the beginning to the end and memorize it and he's done. There's no way. At least not to my knowledge. All right. So for us, the average, we need to be practical and set and be real and be real and realistic. In order to achieve that, we need to uh, to divide the surah to divide the surah into sections, parts, and also chunks. And we also have to set days for memorization as well as days for revision, and then follow the steps I'm going to suggest here, inshallah ta'ala. So to start, we say, uh, what are the sections we are going to distribute Surah Al-Baqarah in. I am suggesting dividing Surah Al-Baqarah into five sections. Five sections means uh, five, five, uh, five hizb. Every juzu, every one juzu is divided into two and each one of the two is called hizb. So if each hizb is one section and we divide each section into, fa- into four different parts. Four different parts is what mm, some people call here maqra. Uh, in Arabic, they call it robo and so on. And now, if you take one makra or one part or one uh, uh, robo, you need to divide it into small chunks or small bites for your convenience. Some people will spend the day on one part. But in our case here, I do not recommend that unless you are really empty, you, you, you really have the time to do that then it's up to you, you can do that. But to be practical, and since we are not in a hurry to go anywhere, and one of the reasons why many of us are not able to do it is is that they are in hurry. If you are in hurry, you are very likely to not be able to start is one thing, or not to be able to finish it is another thing, especially that it is long, and we live in a very fast-moving world today. So we are going to break apart into chunks. So if we have five sections and each section is having four parts, how many parts are there? 25 parts. And if different people will 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 distribute one part into many chunks or many bytes, depending on who they are. So that one is up to you to decide. All right. Now, when we talk about parts, uh, we have five sections and four uh, five parts each one section has four parts as you can see on the screen and the last section will have less number of verses in especially in the last part of it which will not be be a problem all right now uh, a chunk will look like this or a byte a chunk or a byte will look like this this you what you see on the screen is one full verse uh, but in some situation, like verse number one to verse number five of the surah, that may be your chunk or your bite in your case if you are starting. All right. So this bite can be a set of verses or one verse or two verses or half a verse, a quarter a verse, one line or so. So it's up to you to decide what and how many words, I will say, or lines you need in each chunk. 
Now, days of memorization, we need to divide the days of the week into two different categories. Uh, one category number one is for memorization and category number two is for revision. So I'm suggesting five days for memorization and two days for revision. And there's no resting day. <laughs> there's no resting day. It, consider Surah Al-Baqarah to be your spiritual oxygen. Will you want to take break for receiving oxygen? So five days for memorization and two days for revision. Day one, two, three, four, and five for memorization continuously, and day six and seven for revision. And I will explain how to make use of them. Uh, which day should be my day one? That is up to you to decide. You want it to be Friday? That's up to you to decide. You want it to be Monday to Friday? That's up to you to decide. All right, moving on. Steps to memorizing Surah to Al-Baqarah. So now, right now, we have our bite as an example. We have our chunk as an example. This, we are going to make use of it as an example throughout the uh, the guide as well. If you go through the, uh, through the article, you will see the same, the same thing. So this is how we are going to do. You will need, once you have your bite or your chunk, that also you need to break it into phrases that you will be able to repeat several times in order for it to to sink uh, in your memory or to stick to your memory. As you can see, we have broken this bite into six pieces or into six mini parts. So this is how I will read it in order to memorize it. So I will take number one first. وَإِذْ قَالَ رَبُّكَ لِلْمَلَائِكَ Please do read it slowly. And read it, articulate it correctly. Do not rush. Do not read it wrongly because you want to memorize it. How it sticks in your memory for the first time, it will is going to stick that way for a long time. Where if all a book a malaika, and repeat it for ten times. Once you are done, then you move on to the next, which is. Inni ja'ilun fil arubi khalifa. And you repeat this for another 10 times. Now you have the first piece of chunk or, or, or bit, the first, uh, uh, the first number one of that bite. You have repeated, you repeated 10 times already and now you have done this for 10 times. So you combine them and repeat them for five times. وَإِذْ قَالَ رَبُّكَ لِلْمَلَائِكَ and you repeat it for five times. Once you are done, you move on to the next uh, number. And that will be, in this case, And you repeat it for another ten times. Once you are done, you combine them, one, two, and three, and repeat them for five times. وَإِذْ قَالَ رَبُّكَ لِلْمَلَائِكَةِ إِنِّي جَاعِلٌ فِي الْأَرْضِ خَلِيفَةٌ قَالُوا أَتَجَعَلُ فِيهَا مَنْ يُفْسِدُ فِيهَا You repeat it for five times. Once you are done, you move on. وَيَسْفِكُ الدِّمَاءِ وَيَسْفِكُ الدِّمَاءِ and you repeat it four, ten times. Please do not undermine any phrase or any verse. Don't say, I know this, and this is very familiar, and therefore it doesn't deserve to be given attention. No matter how short or familiar it is, pay attention to it. This, is, this may sound very familiar, but do not undermine it. Otherwise, it becomes your problem along the way. So once you are done with it ten, ten times, you combine it from the beginning to, to, to here, وَإِذْ قَالَ رَبُّكَ لِلْمَلَائِكَةِ إِنِّي جَاعِلٌ فِي الْأَرْضِ خَلِيفَةِ قَالُوا أَتَجَعَلُ فِيهَا مَنْ يُفْسِدُ فِيهَا وَيَسْفِكُ الدِّمَاءِ Five times. And then you move on. وَنَحْنُ نُسَبِّحُ بِحَمْدِكَ وَنُقَدِّسُ لَكَ Repeat it for 10 times. And then you combine everything. 
وَإِذْ قَالَ رَبُّكَ لِلْمَلَائِكَةِ إِنِّي جَاعِلٌ فِي الْأَرْضِ خَلِيفَةٌ قَالُوا أَتَجْعَلُ فِيهَا مَنْ يُفْسِدُ فِيهَا وَيَسْفِكُ الدِّمَاءِ وَنَحْنُ نُسَبِّحُ بِحَمْدِكَ وَنُقَدِّسُ لَكَ For five times and then you move on to the last piece. قَالَ إِنِّي أَعْلَمُ مَا لَا تَعْلَمُونَ You repeat this for ten times. Once you are done, combine everything together. وَإِذْ قَالَ رَبُّكَ لِلْمَلَائِكَةِ إِنِّي جَاعِلٌ فِي الْأَرْضِ خَلِيفَةِ قَالُوا أَتَجْعَلُ فِيهَا مَنْ يُفْسِدُ فِيهَا وَيَسْفِكُ الدِّمَاءِ وَنَحْنُ نُسَبِّحُ بِحَمْدِكَ وَنُقَدِّسُ لَكَ قَالَ إِنِّي أَعْلَمُ مَا لَا تَعْلَمُونَ Repeat it for five times. Once you are done, close your Quran or turn off your screen if you're using your, 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 your smart device and try to read everything from one to six together by heart. If you succeed, only after you succeed, then you repeat it for 10 times. Don't repeat it for 10 times before trying to read it by heart, unless you really cannot, cannot get it at all. If you don't succeed, keep on trying again and again and again. But please be patient and don't get frustrated. Remember the, uh, remember the uh, prerequisites we mentioned? Pay attention to them. All right? So once you are done, for the first time, you are done. Congratulations, because it takes time. It's worth congrat congratulations. <laughs> and the next thing to do is to repeat, to make it stronger in our memory. And we do that by repeating it for 40 times minimum. 40 times is minimum. All right? And you can distribute this 40 times throughout the day. So you do five times after an hour, another 10 times after two hours, and so on. Make sure that, just make sure that you do it minimum. If you can go up to 100 times, the, bet, the, the more the better. Certainly, but not less. So now, the rules of repetition. We have already given an example of your bite or your chunk. Uh, what are the rules of repetition? We have talked about the 10 times for every line in the bite or every phrase in the bite. And then once you, co you are combining the, the short phrases in the bite, you repeat them five times accordingly. And then once you are done all together, you repeat everything for 40 times uh, minimum. These are just suggestions. While they are suggestions, please do not decrease. While you should not decrease, don't stick to it only. If you are struggling, then you need to increase. If your first attempt or your first day, the 10 times didn't work that well for you or the five times didn't work that well for you, please do increase and you are not going to lose anything. Remember, any time you repeat, you are doing dhikr and you are getting closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It doesn't make you less than the one who, who reads the whole surah in that same amount of time you are spending on one bite or one verse or one assignment. All right? So, for the 10 times, as we mentioned, increase it to, let's say, increase if you need to. Let's say, increase from 10 to 15, 10 to 20, if that is what will help you. And for the five times, increase it to 10 times to 15 times if that will be helpful to you. And for the 40 times, do increase to 50, 60, and 100, even if you need more, please do so. Remember, Al-Baqarah, please do check my other video and article, Seven Reasons Why You Should Read Surah Al-Baqarah, and you will never regret taking this journey. It is important to know that while we are memorizing we don't just memorize one day and then think we are done no you have to keep on revising 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 until it stick in your mind in your heart and even with that you still have to keep on revising reading the quran or else you will forget it so there are three ways of revision 
And all the three are important. We need to practice them all while we are still memorizing, especially Surah Al-Baqarah. So we have daily revision, we have weekly light or short revision, and we have weekly long revision. Daily revision uh, works like this. Today is your first day and you are taking your first bite. And the example of the first bite here is verse number 30 in Surah Al-Baqarah. Verse number 30 in Surah Al-Baqarah comes in part two, part two of section one. Remember, like I said, we need to read the article and then this will make more sense. Uh, this bite, verse number 30, falls in uh, part two, section number number one. Once you get it successful, tomorrow you will move on to bite, a new bite, a new chunk. And that will be verse number 31 and 32, or maybe 31 only, or maybe 31 and 32 and 33, depending on who you are. Before you start tomorrow's bite or tomorrow's assignment, please start here first. And you are starting here first because this is the beginning of the part, an example. This is the beginning of the part. In your case, the, the, the beginning of, of part two is verse number 26. So be, before you reach here, you have already done a few chunks or a few bites before you reach uh, verse number, number 30. So maybe two chunks. So tomorrow, before you start your new assignment from verse number 31, then you have to start uh, your revision from verse number 26, which is the beginning of part number number one. And then until this verse, once you get it successfully, that is your daily revision. And then you move on to your new assignment. If you, you don't get it, repeat it. You repeat it until you get it before you move on. Even if it will take your whole slot without taking a new assignment, it's better to strengthen our old memorization than taking new one when the old one is not there. Don't build on an empty, uh, an empty foundation. And then our weekly light revision will be similar, but not the same, uh, uh, not exactly. Uh, we have we our daily revision. We only revise from the beginning of the current part. When the moment we finish the current part and we're moving on to a new part, that be, no longer becomes part of our, of our daily revision. It becomes part of our weekly revision. So our weekly revision starts from the beginning of the current section. Our weekly revision starts from the beginning of our current section. So right now, if let's say we are in part number, uh, part two, section one, our weekly revision, we have to start from section, uh, from the from from part one, section one, until our current verse. And remember, we do we do daily revision every day before we do our new assignment, but we use our day number six for our weekly light revision, right? Now, our weekly long revision will be to start from the beginning of Surah Al-Baqarah. So if let's say uh, at this time you are somewhere in the middle of verse uh, of section number three, then you will have to, on your seventh day, you have already experienced from part, part one, section one. So you will have to read it all the way from there to where you are you have currently reached. And that will be weekly long revision and that will fall on the seventh day of the week by all means on our revision days we don't memorize something new we only work on old stuff and on our memorization days we revise the most recent ones and then proceed to take a new assignment i hope this is clear if it's not please do leave your comments in the uh, your questions in the comments below inshallah Now I have a bonus to share with you. That is, I am working on a Surah Al-Baqarah project where I'm going to be demonstrating everything I have just shared in terms of memorization. But for me, I'm going to be reading it, demonstrating every single verse in Surah Al-Baqarah through to the end of Surah. And I will be posting it in, uh, in chunks or in bites, if you may. And that will be on tvq.academy channel, on basically on YouTube and probably on Facebook as well. So please do check out tvq.academy channels on YouTube and as well as on Facebook and subscribe 
if you haven't yet. I believe that is going to be helpful to especially those who are not exposed to Surah Al-Baqarah and also those who are not able to read at all Surah Al-Baqarah and they have the eagerness and uh, they have the readiness, the hunger to learn and master Surah Al-Baqarah and also develop a relationship with Surah Al-Baqarah. So please do check it out. Now, one of the things when we share about this is the question that we receive, like, uh, is there any success story? Do you have any success story to share? Uh, there are success stories outside there. There are, there are hundreds, if not thousands, of success stories of people who read Surah Al-Baqarah and they, they, got, they got cured and healed from their sickness, success stories. There are success stories of people who have memorized Surah Al-Baqarah and they never knew how to read it in the first place. There are success stories, success stories out there. We know them, yet they never changed us. <laughs> so if you want a success story from me, uh, while I have success stories, I don't prefer sharing success stories. I share what you need to do in order to attain the blessing and the barakah of Surah Al-Baqarah. Let each one of us create, create, be the success story. Let him create the success story. Let him have his own success story. Instead of waiting for others' success story in order to start a journey of him or of himself or for himself. So success story, uh, you are the success story. I am the success story. Uh, my neighbor is a success story. My other students are the success story. So please let each one of us be a story on his own, a success story indeed or on, on his own. And Inspire those around you. Inspire those those around around you. If you want to look for success story before you start, who has come from back from Jannah successfully, so that we will take his story as an example and work for Jannah or search for Jannah. Everyone should be the success story on uh, by by himself. To conclude, I will say the method presented in this guide or in this video and the accompanying guide will help you to learn to read and memorize Surah, Surah Al-Baqarah by the will of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. However, you can also use the same method, the same techniques to memorize and revise any surah in the Quran or even the entire Quran for that matter. I can comfortably say that you can use it to teach your child or your children to master reading the Quran with proper articulation. Uh, I'm not talking about the simply RYQ Surah Al-Baqarah, which I'm going to work on yet, which also can be used. But for anyone who already has the exposure to Surah Al-Baqarah, you can use the same method to, to guide your children to read the Quran. Read it correctly and let them read after you. So you read with the proper and accurate pronunciations and let them read after you. Repeat and let them repeat after you. And the magic will happen by the will of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us what it takes to master Surah Al-Baqarah and then put it into practice in our daily lives. If you have watched this video to this point and have found it fruitful or beneficial, please do share with me your experience in the comments area below and don't forget to share it as well with your loved ones let's go to jannah together leave your questions below and i will try to attend to them as soon as possible inshallah ta'ala also do subscribe to the channel if you haven't already your comments and your like will definitely help this video to reach more people who may benefit it even more than i do or probably more than you do so if you take the trouble to share it, it will be greatly appreciated by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as he will be the one to reward you. Also, do subscribe to our new uh, Al Fasila channel on Telegram or on WhatsApp for updates from all the Dawah websites and channels I do run. I will put all the links to the article, to the guide, to other relevant uh, references as well as to the channels Al Fasila in the description below. Until we meet in another The Good News episode, 
I leave you in Allah's protection. See you and see you in Jannah. Wassalamu alaikum.